You pop in a bottle? Sure. <laughs> I have one behind me. Champagne shower. There we go. Just started the streaming. Jeez, this move on gold. Crazy. Hey, I must say, the streams have been on time. So, congrats yeah. for that. Yeah, that's, that's well done to you, look, man. This week, perfect. Thank you, man. Yeah. I do have well, to only fun. do one thing. I forgot my normal glasses in my car. So, I'm going to run to my car in a second. Uh, get them and then come back. But overall, they're pretty much on point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one minute here and there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but amazing, man. Amazing, man. Well done. Thank you, thank you. Spot on. I had to do it, man. Sometimes you got to put it in that discipline. You know? Yep. Ooh. Yeah, I might be looking for cells. Okay. We're at daily resistance, or we're gonna push break out and break the current high and fill the wick here to the left. That's gonna be towards nineteen oh three. Yeah, I think it's weekly and daily resistance as well at the same yeah. time. So I think you would expect today just to push through that zone for the weekly to close bullish. Yeah, might do. Uh, above that resistance. So yeah. Come on, come on, guys. You, you guys are awesome. We're doing live. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you, thank you. Oh, the date is the 11th. Oh, shit. There we go. Now it's good. Let me send you uh, the link, Sham. Man, like Sham. What's up? GG breaking out as well. GJ. Mm hmm. Who's that? <laughs> I see it. Okay. Yeah, that's in an entire new, new range. Gotta say, those some retest levels are on, on point, man. Put that music back on as well. Mm, there we go. Let's invite Sham for a second. There we go. After I put the music on, I have to go for a second. I have to get my normal glasses. It's getting annoying. There we go. Morning guys, have a nice day. You too, you too. You too. Yeah, based on the four hour in gold. Um probably gonna be taking buys above three hundred. So this is gonna be inside here is gonna be no trade range. Um on the four hour on gold below. Range is so small in that moment. Sales on GJ. I don't know really when I'm gonna wanna be doing that. But I do wanna buy GJ above three hundred. So right here, what's going on? Oh. Mm -hmm. Put a sm small box on it. Yeah, above 300, I think are the correct uh, buys coming up. <clears throat> and we can go up to that daily resistance. That's around 6, 630, around this level, 627. Uh, going to be my play. Buys on gold could be there, but I am a little bit more careful.
Luke, there's a four hour resistance right here. So I'd rather want to buy above when when the one hour candle closes above. If not, and we start pushing back down, I want to be looking for sales below this four hour level right here. So uh, 97 around that. And then uh, I've cleaned traffic down towards uh, 95 around that. I think that should be good. That's as a first target, 95 from this level. Clean traffic on the one hour, clean traffic on the 30 minute. Only this small week on the 30 minute could could be something. But overall, yeah, that's going to be a very nice play. So, but 10, oh. Yo. Buys above. Uh, and then. We got a hairline or and shield sales below. And the reason I am skipping this small range is because if you look left, there's this four hour resistance right here. And I like to break that four hour resistance with a one hour candle close in the range in between these two two zones is only eight pips. So I'd rather wait and then have a 22 pip range for me with a whip to fill. That's that's what I'm uh, gonna be looking for. Now I do see the four hour candles are getting weaker and weaker and weaker. So there might be a retracement down towards 95 before continuing moving up. Because as you can see, if you start counting those those four hour candles, we have a very strong candle over here. A little bit of a weaker candle. More volume started to come in here again for some reason. Stronger candle. And then the candle started going weaker. Didn't break the, the previous high at a small wick. The next one broke the high, but very small candle wick. This one, long tail, trying to grab liquidity to push further up, but still pretty small. So we could have a pro possibility of this candle closing bearish and the next one in New York closing uh bullish again to continue the bullish run look you doing okay man yeah man what about you Dar. yeah for me uh, above that four hour resistance is the most important And then, for me, to be honest, pullback on sales would look very nice. But these two ranges are pretty good. Uh, we have like, a, what I said, 24 pips? 24? Just like, yeah, 23 pip range. So, target, first target buys. And then we have range down of like 30 pips as well i think oh no 20 22 pips as well it was good good uh first target sells that could be a pretty important zone so that's the zone where you really want to take profit right if you start continuing moving down because yeah but i do think iron man uh, that we might have a little retracement in london and then we start pushing further up uh, in New York session because if you look at the at the candlesticks on the four hour time frame they're getting weaker and weaker and weaker so there might be a retracement back uh, if I can annotate it for a second let's say on the lower time frames we're gonna see a retracement back towards this level and then continue moving further up because this is the previous resistance zone on, on the four hour time frame just broke out with this candle you know but there might be a retrace down and then continue moving further up at least go to this level again and then go to the level here up top so that 1908 1909 level 
that's what I'm looking for. So, if cells come into play below my potential area, I might take cells, but I'm already going to anticipate maybe buying on this level as well. So, we buy on the support level once we come down and expect price to continue moving further up at the first candles that are closing bullish. Right? So, um, I think that might be a very smart idea to do if that happens. I don't think this candle is going to continue alone. So I think we're going to first see that retracement of London and then uh, and I see it come up in New York. Awesome analysis on gold. Thank you. No problem. No problem. GJ, I'm probably looking for buys. Don't know really where I want to sell below 625. That's still, yeah, maybe below the 625 level right here. So sells below. Potential sells below and then here potential buys above. Targets are pretty obvious, right? We have this resistance right here. So, you target like 670, but I want to be a little bit more safe and have this as my first target. First target buy is on gold. Uh, now, the range is going to be big enough to run like a 20, 25 pip range. Let me take a look for a second. I don't have my glasses on right now, so I can't really see much. Um, yeah, that's around 31 pips. Uh, and then we have for a safe target to this level for cells and that's going to be around 25 I think oh even more it's 40 pips oh shit that's good yeah that's good uh, and then first well that's going to be the target for cells we don't need any more than 40 pips target for cells yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to sell this part. I mean, you can, but if you look on the four hour time frame, we have this full on rejection wick right here, you know, and then we have this zone right here. And this is right, like the real support zone that, that 154, 628. And I think once you break that, we could, uh, we could start feeling that daily wick right here. But this could also be a rejection. So if you look on the on the on the daily time frame, cells might never get into play anymore because if you look, we started pushing up, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up, coming back down, creating support above this recent level. Started pushing up, pushing up, creating a new higher high, coming back down, created support on this previous level, and now we start might might start breaking highs. And if we start breaking highs, we could potentially fill the first target and the second target. And continue moving further up to create a new higher high come back down on top of this level again and do the same thing so let's see i think that should be pretty good what time is it six yeah, guys, we're uh, probably going to be hitting 10k today. You guys are insane. But a good part about GJ is that the, the, the that this candle kind of did close already above that, that the most recent four hour resistance. Uh, if you count only the bodies, uh, candlesticks are still above this level. But I think if you start breaking them, you should continue moving up to the potential buy area. At the potential buy area, what I'm going to be looking for is, um, if we go to the 30 minute time frame, what I want to be looking for is maybe for price to, you know, slowly come up. So we have the candles pushing up and I want to see a little retrace and then break off the most recent resistance we just made at that moment and then continuation up. Or what I want to see if we break out straight away, 
but I don't want to get in impulsively on, on GJ because GJ and impulsive entries lately there's not been enough volume but let's say it just jumps out straight away I'm going to be waiting for a retrace back down to retest the highs and find my entries somewhere right here right to retest these highs and go to the first target of buys it's going to be the plan so two things or break out straight away wait for a break and retest and the break and retest is going to be my entry or uh, the breakout but probably i'm not going to take the break itself the breakout might do it if we have a deep enough of a retracement because there's a difference between a breakout and a break because if we have the breakout candles are closing above right and if the candle closes above and we have a retracement down towards this level right here um of, of only the wick itself right of only the wick itself let me show that for a second so let's say this candle starts pushing up later this candle is still forming at this level so but if we have a retracement back down towards this level and we start flipping yeah then i might see an entry uh, to, to have this candle continue moving up right but uh, but just the initial break itself so the initial impulsive entry that goes like this it's not my entry on on, on gj I'm, I'm gonna be waiting or like a, a real break and a retest on on, on the candle wick and then uh, and then a flip and that might be the entry or i'm gonna be waiting for a price to really uh, uh create a resistance just b uh, before the potential buys or create a high and come back down to retest the previous high. so three options um are gonna be uh gonna be what we're looking for now let's see look like a little bit little bit of a liquidity grab on the, on the one hour i think i don't know if we hit that level already but looks like we just came down to grab some liquidity check the news look a lot of news coming up in 30 minutes on gbp yeah let's see it might be good yeah i'm not really uh bothered by this news this may be all together one red folder so we might see some movement but not crazy crazy i think i think we should be good but it's pretty simple uh like risky buy uh, risky sales are gonna be below when we break structure below could already even take sales earlier but that's that's definitely not what i'm gonna do uh risky buys are not gonna be above here because this range is way too small so buys are gonna be above this level right here yeah that's uh that's what we're looking for pretty easy Yeah. Where are you getting the news? Forex Factory. Give you the, the link, my friend. Hey, really? Nice to see you, man. Normally you're always in uh, New York, I think. I remember your name. One point, Luke. Thank you, Louise. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, guys, we might be hitting that 10k today. That would be insane. So don't forget to subscribe. We're coming so close. So close. Still far away. No, no. It's really, really, really close. Do you live in London? Yeah, that's why I'm called Luke Trades London. <laughs> you know. Hey Luke, how are you? Yeah, pretty good, man. What about you? Isabel, hello from Thailand. Hello, welcome. Pretty far away from me, but that's okay. Bro, I love your streams. Keep it up. Keep up the great work. I appreciate any kind of knowledge. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. 
I think the question was, do you live in London? Probably. I don't know. No. It's, 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 do you live oh, in London? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I don't have my glasses <laughs> on what I said before. I can't see it. So it's the screen is uh, pretty far away from me. So let me Magic get my glasses deep. and then. Uh, but I don't live in London. Do you live in London? He yeah. vibes in London. <laughs> yeah, I vibe in London. I don't see the, like I do. The two, I see. I saw the do and live in London. So I was like, what? What? But I'll, I'll get I'll get you the spectacles, bro, for the next birthday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me let me go downstairs real quick. I'll be right back. Let's go that timpani beat thing. Get the. Yeah, this one's pretty pretty good. I'll be right back. Hi. Now we all going to swear and do stuff and he's going to come back and there'll be no stream. Yeah, just crash the stream, man. <laughs> Ben forever from uh, from YouTube just before 10k. Ah uh, man, you you probably be good. Eh? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Any yeah. plans for today, Frankie? Um, I have to get the jab. Fortunately. Oh shoot! Ah uh, yeah. It is what it is. And you? Uh, just um, we'll see what the trading conditions gives to me, maybe something. Mm. And then Jim, Jim, I, I heard you came back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll go to the gym, but oh, I'm aching all over the place. Oh man, I can imagine. I, I felt you first week. I felt <laughs> like I'm, I'm aching every single day after the gym, but it's just like it's that the first week that's mm. bad. Also, like coming back and like having to go with low weights is a bit like, uh, but it is what ego it is. problem. Not ego problem, but it's like you you know you work so hard to make those progress and like just get the weights up and like now you just have to go back to those old weights to to bring it back. But uh, I'm still. I mean, that's a good thing. It comes back very quickly, but still, it's. Yeah, trust me. For for me, it was ego problem. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no way, man. I used to warm up with these weights. <laughs> yeah, and now I, I have to lift them properly. But yeah, it is what it is. I'm coming back. So, I want yeah. to lift. What? Oh, oh, Dimitri. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> so, what's the situation? My parents are in Dubai, so this is my first time I'm looking at the charts for the whole week. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah I've seen it on nice, Instagram, nice. man. Very nice. What have you guys been trading here? Uh, to be honest, GG and gold. GG and gold. Yeah, there's nothing much. But today, we'll see. We got GG news in five. Any good news? I mean, any good to moves? I mean, oh, yeah. In New yeah. York, yeah, there was like CPI and the move like. Uh, Yesterday, GG provided to both the uh, places, sells and buys. Ooh. Nice. Look, already got a high nose after uh, smashing 10k on YouTube. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Look, look, he's gonna smash it. Yeah. Almost 10k. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Do your parents enjoy Dubai? Uh, it's a bit hard, but I didn't see them for almost two years. So yeah, they, they, oh, they. Wow. You must be realizing. Your brother is there too, right? right. Yeah. Ooh, so I'm gonna stay with you guys for London and then I'm gonna be back with them. Cool. Yeah. Think Luke lost his glasses. <laughs> Mate, I wouldn't be surprised. Or lost his car.
that's happened to a friend of mine. Like he parked, but he forgot to put the how you call it, the um, you know the thing you pull for it so it doesn't move. Um, not the clutch. Um, the, the handbrake. This. Yeah, the handbrake. Exactly. He forgot to put the handbrake, and he he like I would say like what, one hour. What did he after, put on the hill? Yeah, yeah. And one hour after, like the neighbor came and it was like. Is that your car? And he looked out, and his car was like smashed into the wall. Oh like he just he, he parked, but he forgot to put the handbrake and like no gears, and <laughs> yeah, the car Man. just rolled. That's that's the worst. That's the worst. I seen that happen in front of my eyes. <laughs> the, the guy was just uh, my neighbor. He he literally chased off his car, and his car is bad, man. And, like, he just rammed into the into the wall. Yeah. Um, so basically, like me here in UK, uh, most of the hi- houses have like brick walls all around, all around them parking. Okay, yeah. 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 So basically, that just <laughs> rammed in that brick wall. <laughs> yeah. In front of my eyes, which is like step out of my um, house, and I was like, see, it. I see the car rolling down. <laughs> and the guy is just chasing it. I was like, what happened? <laughs> you forgot that- your handbrake. <laughs> what? Yeah, there was last year, I think so. Not last year, two years ago. Yeah, um, my friend, it was. Oh yeah, go on, Frank. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was same about like. Yeah, no, it was just that it was like, he like parked the car and he came and, like one hour after the neighbor came and I was like, "Is that your car?" He looked out the window. <laughs> His car is like, fifty meters down, smashed in the wall and just like completely destroyed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Got your glasses, mate? Got your spectacles? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, my eyes went back like this this, this year, man. Can't you see got shit. your indicators now, yeah? Yeah, man's got them indicators are up and rolling. <clears throat> hey, morning, guys. Yo, what's morning, up? I heard morning, someone man. talking. Man, like Dimitri. Oh, yeah, D- Dimitri was here, yeah. Said, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm here, guys. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all good. Yeah, yeah, nice, yeah, nice. So now you do a full time in London and New York. Yeah, man. Next week as well, and then uh, on it down after that a little bit. You enjoyed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty good, pretty good. But the sessions do get sometimes pretty tiring because they're like straight after each other. So. Okay. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. Guys said that there was uh, some good moves on uh, GJ. When? Uh, yesterday know. was alright. We had a good move. And we had yeah, volume George. yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday was overall a good day, I think. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gold gold gave sells and buys. GJ gave sells and buys. Yep. Yeah, there's right. nothing right now. Wow, today is a lot of news. Yeah, and GJ got some news, but don't know. They're both in a delicate situation. Mm-mm. 15 close without a top week. 30 minute cl- day close bullish, but still respecting the resistance and respecting the previous highs. One hour did close very weak, but rejection. From bearish momentum showed. Could you please explain about the mark fluidity cores? Good question, man. <laughs> Why would you want me to explain? You want to get into it? I don't think Raja would appreciate that much. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But it's just a course. You understand. Price action and next to that, action. yeah, it's price action based course. So. I don't think he really minds, but I saw some people um, talking, sort of like, "Oh, what we do is um, we sit three, four hours at the chart to yeah. get five to ten pips and scalp." And I'm and I'm just thinking, no, we just trade the price action. If the market gives, market gives whatever it gives in yeah. that session so you know and you know people say no you know that's not the way i would trade and everything cool like oh, cool. if you 
uh, self-aware and you can hold the trade for four days. Happy days for you, man. But it's just not me, right? So it's I, I think it's really a different approach to the markets and you have to be self-aware of yourself, of your emotions and everything. 100%. Go con. Uh, Luke doesn't like me, though, but I follow and respect him. Why do I not like you? I got no idea, man. <laughs> Why wouldn't I like you? Looks like news didn't have much effect. Yeah, it's all it's all yellow folders, so it's not gonna do a lot, right? It's not like the entire move is gonna happen in five hundred pips. No. Oh, sending charts and never looked at them. Well, I can't see any charts right now in the chat. Um, so I think you send them them the wrong way. But you, what you want to be looking at, you just want to click this this camera icon where my mouse is. Here's my mouse. Want to click this camera icon? Here you have this link. You go to the right. You copy paste this part of the link and put it in the chat, where I can be able to see it. Yeah, pretty nice. I'm looking for this this candle to break the lows of the previous four hour candles and then continue moving down towards the 95 level. See what we can do at 95. Andre, bless up. I hope you and your team are doing well. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I hope you are doing well as well, my friend. I do think we're going to continue moving on bullish in, in New York, but I think we're first going to retrace right now. As I said before. So let's see. Yeah, for me, the second one loads, uh, Master P. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, it loads for me. Oh, that's cool. I don't know why it doesn't for me. But... I love bro, keep the momentum, road to 100k, yeah. That would be insane. Silver play button incoming. Yes, sir. And we have a target for the end of this year. 50k. <laughs> Nah, silver play button this year. 100? Yeah. Okay. okay. Not, are you guys, gonna... guys, are you YouTubers or what's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> You're traders, man. This is your yeah. background. Exactly. <laughs> Faraji took, what, four it's years? Fun. Four years. It's no, true. less. I think less. Because he was mitigating from Twitch and then... Yeah. True. Mixer. Yeah, but Luke is going to start vlogging, so that's going to take over. <laughs> start showing the whips, no. Show his lifestyle. <laughs> See, guys, I'm, I'm on my boat now. <laughs> <laughs> Cruising through Amsterdam streets. You know the vibe. <laughs> to want to learn trading from basic. Uh, AC, just start watching the streams, to be honest with you. Start watching the streams and and learn from what we're looking at at first. Go to babypips.com. Yeah, go to babypips.com. Start learning on the streams, how we mark up charts and what we say, you know, about certain times and certain areas and certain candlesticks. Write it down on the paper. Yeah, I think gold today is going to touch that daily zone, um, 19.03. Yeah, I think so too, but I think maybe we have a little bit more of a retracement in this four hour. But we just did like a small grab pretty deep down, so this is no, strong it's okay. If you grab. look four hour, it just was um, less than what, six pips before breaking the low. So I think it's quite good of a pullback. 
to push further up to the weekly zone. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Maybe this was a 20 pip, 20 pip uh, liquidity grab right here. And now it's time for a price maybe to go continue moving up a little bit further. Now I do want to see like a strong close outside this zone because this is a four hour resistance zone. Yeah, yeah. Don't I mean, if we pass through this level, I mean, it would be better to pass through this level, you know, yeah. Uh, before, because then you go absolutely clean range on a four hour up to 08. Yep. I mean, there's potential if you like really want to force a buy, you could buy above 180. You have like a 13 pip range till the top right here. But I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, but you removed all the slashes. I don't know what this is, what you just sent, but I'll try and work it out. It does work. Does it work? It just, yeah, yeah, it works. Okay. If you put an X in yeah, and a slash. Yeah, yeah. And paste this one. Okay. No trade. First sell below. Yeah, nine six. First buy target. What does that mean? So you want to buy in the bottom of the range for buys. Okay. Okay. I don't know about this. He's looking for double sells, I think. I think there's this first selling line and then the second selling line. Yeah, like the risky sells yeah. and then safe sells. Yeah. I think the the range for the first sell, sell and first buy aren't big enough. Potentially. Yeah, potentially depends. Depends on volume. Yeah. But have you seen a lot of volume in GJ? I know. Yesterday, yes. Yeah, yesterday, but oh yeah, with rest CPI. of the week. No, not not even the CPI before the CPI. The London um yeah, London drop. Oh yeah, true, true. That was a little bit of a mini aggro day. Yeah, message. yeah. So we're I about to go up on gold. Price. I'm waiting for a close outside. Not gonna take any impulsive entries. Mm -hmm. To be honest, on gold, when I came to the charts, I was more inclined to sell. Like looking at the four hour and yeah. how I was doing. Me too, still. So, yeah. Like the buy, I think, like, when you go on the also, like, it close. Yeah, I think we need a retracement. Because that's a four hour resistance. And you could maybe, like, get, I would say, a week up before it starts sharpen again. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but if we have a one hour kind of or a 30 minute kind of close above this zone, I'm going to be looking for buys. But what I said again, if we have that, I want this candle to close like strong. Uh, strong candle close like this right in the middle of that range uh, where they wake up and I want to have this candle let's say this is the body already then I want to have this candle really you know, retrace deep before flipping back up grabbing liquidity to continue moving and then expect price to go to the top or I want price to just create uh, create the higher high for us right here. Continue moving back down. Great support and then continue moving. Seems like GJ grabbed liquidity as well to push that up. Hey, your gold is outside right now. It's free. Yeah. 
Uh, the thing is, a 30 minute and one hour all close without a bottom wick. So, what the price is going to do, make it bottom wick on the next candle and then continue moving back up to, you know, to engulf the previous candle most of the times. Mm -hmm. This one is for you, Louis Eyes. Oh, they, they, yeah, um, I like Louis Eyes. <laughs> what could I expect from this chart? Let's see. Oh, it's, it's okay. Oh, shit! Man, like Louis Eyes did it. I saw it. I, <laughs> oh, shit. He did it. Actually executed on it. Then. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even done that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do it soon. But the probability on this setup is sick, man. But waited for a bullish candle to break the previous candle low. Okay. Yeah. Man, that's still like like how much? Like uh like like nine and a half pips. That you took that was mad. Mad mad. Yeah, I, I've seen this setup happening so many, so many, so many, so many times. So soon, I'm going to be taking that too. Because it, the probability on the setup is just, just very high. Like, I think 70 to 80% when I see this happening, price just starts retracing. Makes a bottom wick. So what price does, like, let's say you're on that downtrend, right? We're going we're gonna to talk in, uh, in boxes right now. Let's say we're on the downtrend. And all candles have that bottom wick, top wick, bottom. Oh, that's really, really, really ugly. Let me redo that one. Bottom wick, stop wicks, bottom wicks, top wicks, bottom wicks. And all of a sudden, this candle doesn't have bottom wick. The probability that we see the next candle making a bottom wick and then just flying up is just very high. It's like those counter trend trades. <laughs> Learned right here on your channel. Perfect, man. Very nice. J textbook trade. Morning, morning. Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, pretty good. We did pretty bad yesterday on Warzone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not the greatest of sessions. Some gulag shit. <laughs> what do you say? Oh. Some gulag stuff. Yeah, gulag stuff. We got straight <laughs> into the gulag. Yeah. <laughs> we got <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> it looks pretty good, EJ, to be honest. I mean, this would, uh, should have been your entry right here. When this kind of started closing above, you got that range all the way to the top here at 536, 537. So, should be good, should be good. Mm, mm, mm. You should be running around yeah, 3, 3, 4. Target should be around 17. So, just have patience, it will continue moving up, I think. Mm, mm, mm. Gold is uh, at that level for our resistance, so. No top we're gonna go five minutes on gold. Oh it has. That was a top wick. Oh no bottom wick. Oh now it has one. But it's five minutes, so you're not really bothered about the five, right? <clears throat> so can you see my setup for a G day GJ for today? Sure man. Uh, hopefully it's the right chart. There we go. I can't believe man just yeah man just bought that one. It was sick. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. I would already looking for be looking for cells below uh below three eighty because then you have a range till like, uh, uh, oh wait, how much was that? I'm blind. Looking at the wrong numbers. T3. Um, wait. Uh, 
No trait range. Hmm. I would already start looking for cells below here at 630 level, I mean. 630 level, then you have like a 40 pip range of clean traffic down. Okay. The bottom is like 40 pips. So I would sell this zone 100%. executed it by NGG so it's my trade and it's like it is done so what the four close the bug resistance clean traffic to the left made market structure broke above that strong level okay. down resistance nice. closed above you in Frank yeah just now um I got in when it books the fifth previous 15 minute time oh, well done well done because oh damn should be good. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because what it did is four hour you expect to be bullish because it closed um, yeah. above that resistance. So like you said, Luke, you wanted to then go and tap next resistance. Yep. And it make that big liquidity grab to the bottom. And so one hour was bearish and it respected that resistance. And with this one, because it made support, broke the, the high pretty much of the 15. Then for me, it was like, it should, should not go up, but we'll see. I we'll think see, if, if see. your stop is below the current four hour load, then it just makes yeah. sense. And if it starts breaking those, that, that 208, 215 level, you should be good to the top. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'm not really looking to take any trades today. Just yeah, makes sense. Go on to next week. <laughs> got a like this comment from the gulag hello sir good morning can i trade gbp jpy on the down tell me <laughs> uh, can I, we I, do the down <laughs> or can we do the up <laughs> up down 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 i don't know man you gotta figure it out yourself frank will tell you that it'll do the up <laughs> what <laughs> uh, no, we, we had a comment <laughs> saying, can I trade G GJ on the down? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, well, Frank will probably tell you it'll do the up. <laughs> I mean, everybody has to know his own um, stuff, but for me, yeah. this is... No, niche. but I mean, like, the way yeah, yeah. he said, uh, no, no. do the down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm doing the up now. <laughs> He's doing the up, yeah. We'll see what it does. It's kind of funny. I was I was actually looking for a cell right here, but I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> once once exactly... that five minute came up and it started breaking this low, I was like, hmm, this could be a nice setup. But and look what it did. It respected that resistance. It made yeah. sense because all the yeah. candles previously were pretty weak bullish. That's a very strong also like daily yeah, zone. That would um, underneath, quick, but pips. because the wicks are so big with gold, you know, it could like just wick up and come back down. So now, if you'd like the safe, I have my level on gold is like 1897. If it comes back to break those low, you have very clean traffic to go down. And then it be nice. Luke, trust your lines. Yeah, I know my lines are on point, but I do want to wait for some confluence to yes. take a trade. Oh, oh wait. Just because price going at my line, and I know like 50% plus times when that price goes to the line, it goes to the opposite way or whatever. But rather wait for some uh, some bullish candles to close, some bearish candles to close at that moment. But yeah, then if you get the close, I would say of that 30 minutes, it could still be like it still go up. Analysis on silver. Michelle. Yeah, it's on the, on the push, but it's at this resistance right here. Let's take a look on the four hour time frame. Yeah, it's also at a four hour resistance right here. I mean, I think you need to wait for a one hour kind of close above that level. There's that one hour level right here. But if you start pressing 28, 22, I think you could go up towards uh, 28.42. I wanted to buy real real silver, but I didn't do it. I wanted to buy like 23 or something. 
Yeah, 23, 22. Last year already. Frank, Never did it though. Entry on GJ. Frank. Um, my entry on GJ is 155, 177. Okay, as we as we started breaking the 15 minute high. Yeah. Okay. And now looking at my risk management, um, how far mm. I want to say. I'll probably close 50 if this 40 minutes still respects that resistance. Okay. Or even yeah, cut make the trade sense. how deep it is. Mm. Yeah, stop loss wise taking this trade doesn't make any sense. Yep. 18 pip target, and then you have a 23 pip stop loss. So. It's, I see a resistance right at uh, 155, 180. So I think, you know, if we uh, have a close... Uh, no, I'm talking about the... gold. But go ahead. Oh, gold, gold, my bad. On GJ, there's a resistance at 155, 180. Mm -hmm. No, I, I do know that, but it was like, because it made the four hour, we expected to be bullish. And yeah. because it made that grab to the bottom, the one hour okay. made support yeah. again. And then the 15 started breaking the highs again. I was like expecting, so this one hour to then start breaking up to the upside mm. yeah so you expect it to continue right yeah i mean even if this mm. i want to say even if this 15 still closes bearish and the 30 is like yeah. still hovering just under that resistance i don't think i'll cut it but if it really starts to pull back in this 30 minute is very weak bullish then i'll i'll probably take at least 50 percent off yeah, I'm. I'm just waiting to enter GJ once it starts breaking daily highs. Yeah, the thing is, and, that range yeah. is not so big, and like if you start waiting for that, for me it's like it almost gets a bit too tight because this is like the limit that we wanted to trade for a range like 13 pips. Yeah. So I, I just I want to get pretty much if I can the entry, like the closest possible yeah, to resistance. That's good. For it to, to have to leave the field at the range. And Luke, what are you looking at on gold? Uh, sells. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, depends on how this closes. We've got five minutes left for this close. Now, um, stop loss wise, this doesn't make sense, right? Because mm. if you start looking, yeah. yeah, we have five minutes now. The new five minute kind of opened. Yeah, it's, that's okay. And where that might make a make a new stop loss but at the end of the day uh, on the 15 minute candle time frame we should have a 23 pip stop loss with an 18 pip target 17 18 pip target start looking on the five minute time frame yeah if we make a new new wick down and start breaking the highest right here yeah, then we could yeah. be talking eight pip stop loss against against uh, around 17 pips how big is a 17 pip range for gold it's like a 7-8 pip range on GJ, right? So, yep. we want to at least have those 20 pips, 20-30 pips, for for your range to continue, you know? Yeah, true, true. Vin D, mm. let's take a look at your chart, man. Music is high. You might... Uh, no, it's not no. that high. No, it's better. A little bit quiet, you know? Thing is, if everyone says it, yeah, then we're gonna, we're gonna act up on it. Sit down a little bit for you, but still, impulse buys above these weeks, yeah, makes sense, but that range doesn't make sense. You know, the range itself doesn't make sense. Yeah, you're trying to target around 11 pips, but why would you have your target up here when you see the targets right here? Like, that doesn't make sense. I, I would think, I think, first of all, if you look at this level, right, this box, what's the probability of price pushing on in this box going just above that level? Yeah, there is a probability, 100%. But is the range going to be big enough for you, right? Is that range going to be big enough for you? The range itself, if you count it from this level right here, 
to right here how big is that what's the there, because at the end of the day there's still a probability that we might reject off this level even though the four hour on the stand the four hours coming bullish right uh we just made a lower wick on the four hour we should continue moving up on the stand up but impulsively wise um what's the probability that we we're not coming above this level until we create a support or full candle close so I, I don't I'm not the biggest fan of this idea to be honest with you and I mean it could be good I mean if it's your trading style you've done it over and over and over and over again uh go ahead do it but it yeah it's a Friday as well it's a Friday so it's not going to be a candle like this right So I'll be careful. I mean, if you've done this over and over and over again, uh, uh, go ahead, do it because then you know it works. But for me personally, I would wait. Because the thing is that this is not just some random level. This is a four hour resistance zone, right? So why target 38 when the 4 hour resistance zone is actually really like 310, 308? Not just like, it's not like a random, uh, random, random, uh, what's it called? Not just a random 15 or 30 minute level. Like I understand you want to fill the wick, but there's also a high probability that we're not going to get above that wick straight away. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, no problem. Like, I mean, it's not harsh for you in any way, but um, could could do some potential uh, rejections at that level that you don't want to have, right? Because it's for our level. Like, I understand if you had a higher target than 300, 310, if it was a 15 or 30 minute resistance, right? They expect it to just break. But as a, as a four hour level, um, most of the times, like, like count the times where you see a four hour level being broken straight away. Also, look, yesterday your goal call, it yeah. went right to target. Yeah, exactly. I see target. Shun Why, Luke, you probably trade three days only. No, I trade five days in the week. Uh, Monday and Friday, you are too cautious to be in these trades. Well, fun fact, Monday and Friday are my best days. So, <laughs> Friday is my, my, my most profitable day. So, candle close below, so no trade for me, even though it's going to break the high. And I don't know about you, but are you gonna gonna buy straight into a four hour resistance, Mr. Chun Wai? Yo, boys, look at the WhatsApp chat. I have a picture. What do you think about that? Do you think we need to change the colors up or change some more things? Uh, yeah, really nice, man. Really like it? Nice. Yeah, it's simple. Really nice. Much more I needed, that. I think. <clears throat> yeah. Nah, there's nothing to add, man. Honestly. Looks amazing. Yeah, man, that's perfect. I like it. You want to see a delicate situation take a look at the whatsapp <laughs> see it what's that what if you want to see a delicate situation you get to see <laughs> the whatsapp <laughs> master that's why you're a consultant you know <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> what 
I sometimes have some really random ones as well. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Pretty crazy. <laughs> if you read my DMs, you're gonna be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some situations are just weird. <laughs> Delicate situation. Sometimes you got people in ro trying to roast me, and, uh, and at the end of the day, they appreciate me. Like, I look back on, don't understand why you try to roast me up first at that moment, then. <laughs> That's funny. Frankie took a no. Frankie, man. Frankie, man, smash Del his computer. <laughs> Del um, no, no. I mean, Where's Frankie, boy? He's, I'm he's here, chilling. fuck. I have to go and do something, so... Uh, okay, that's a loss. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's okay, right? Sent, your trade made sense. Um, yeah. Based on the four hour, I mean, made a lot of sense. But maybe your level was a little bit too strong. Sheesh, those flips. It is what it is. Nah, uh, don't worry, Frank. Um, I mean, that's a... I'm not going to say that's a bad trade. I mean, maybe you should have waited a few more pips before we definitely break the daily high. Mm. So then no, you got maybe, you. maybe a higher confirmation because it was like, you know, a few pips away from that daily high. So Yeah, but for me, it made sense. I mean, no, 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 no. I, I completely agree with you. But it's just like, you know, with maybe stronger confirmation for that bias. Yeah, true. But the fact like it's made resistance broke it again okay it didn't close but it still broke it again on the 15 if you look yeah so, but when you check the five minute we never broke 200 again and you see that we have one small five minute candle at 7 30 closed uh, a little bit above and then you see the hard rejection on the five minute then you have these two um bullish like fomo candles you know maybe there was your entry below 200 but the next candle you see on the on the five minute never reached the target uh, the, the level before you know the resistance you mean exactly so you see mm -hmm. you see the um the rejection there does anyone know well, how i changed the yeah, watermark true. on uh on... Um, like it's... change it to something else yeah or yeah, no you can't yeah change you it. can't that's oh and you can do that via obs like add a watermark behind your yeah Oh. stream oh really but then only the gulag people will see that yeah yep but like, you don't need to worry about us <laughs> let's check obs for a sec oh is gazi yo guys good morning hey morning yo what's up good morning, morning. um oh, let me oh this? we have big tula over here i recognize the voice yeah I was like, it's either, it's either Reno or Betula German accents. Nearly the same Go voice, like no joke. Voice. Yeah, true. <laughs> Thank uh, you, guys. I hope German accent is a compliment. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, nice. it's pretty good, man. <laughs> um, can I say a few words on GJ, if it's okay for you? Yeah, go ahead, 100%. man. Please. Look, um, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Then my strategy is with the previous day's high and stuff, right? So if we check the previous day's high, we are at, um, let me see, it's 209-ish, 211, yes, 211. And when we go to the one hour chart or 15 minutes, it's better. But yeah, we have this week on um, yesterday's New York session, which rejected this 210 level. So price never broke this level. It came at 7.30 again and rejected again. And it was coming up to break above, but before breaking this level, I don't think that it's a good good way to buy up there. If you want to buy, you can look for any um, support where your risky sells is, kind of like a yeah. support there, wherever your support is at, to buy that little range. But overall, I don't think that buys are good uh, before 200, before breaking 200. I mean, Frank took the risk. It's okay because this was a pretty strong bullish candle. But overall, this 210 level for some reason is pretty strong. So I would stay away from that. 
Oh, hundred percent. I mean, like I said, for me, for me, the trade made sense. Okay, it was maybe I should have. Like, it's always better to wait for thirty minutes to close above resistance. But the market structure, the way it came, formed resistance, broke again. Even though it was still, I mean, the, the 15 still closed above. Yeah, but it never broke, Frank. Also, not, not really. Yeah, the you know? five minute, but I, I don't even look at the five minute. Master P, uh, in between, Master P, look at YouTube for a second. Look at the left corner. That looks pretty good, right? I mean, I think it's just. Oh, yeah. To wait for the oh, daily really high good. to yeah. be broken, that was 100%. the highest confluence for you. Yeah, true. I think there was, there was a chart from the Gulag from Albano Z. His his idea on GJ, I think, was the was the one was the best one. I'm gonna send it over. Well, I didn't look at that one. I think. But yeah, but GJ's the people that in the took, range now. The people that took buys on the no wick candle, they did have some profit. Yeah. I mean, in the Zoom, I sent a chart from Albano Z from the Gulag. I think his idea was um, is the best in terms of buying and selling. Where to buy? Yeah, Luke has the same mm -hmm. picture. Same, yeah, same thing. Yeah, same above thing. that 310. Yeah. Exact same. But this man is, yeah, okay. He's already looking for earlier sales above 850. And I say 850 uh, on, on GJ is going to be some risky sales. And then. See the yeah, potential I mean, sells down yeah. below 630 is going to be the clean sells down for sells. You want to see a fresh resistance, guys, mm -hmm. uh, True. In, in a session to be formed so you can take sales. Because if you look on the four hour structure, look the way that we're forming, look what zones we are leaving. I was just listening to Ted's uh, live yesterday, and oh, the guy is just like, making yeah. sense. Yeah, he's yeah. just saying, Look at the zones that we are leaving, and you don't want to come back into them. So look at the four hour zone that GG left yesterday. So we might come back and do some some bit of retracement. But you know, to sell, I don't know. You you want to see some sort of fresh fresh retracement. Uh, sorry, fresh resistance, uh, because the way that candle rejected that zone yesterday and pushed up on the daily. Yeah. I think for GG buys. I'd actually be looking like you know to for daily candle structure to continue bullish up to the previous resistance at 155 600 uh because if we look at the 30 minute and the one hour and all they haven't broken daily highs but have come real close that shows that you know that area where the candle wick of the previous daily highs is from yesterday is is a real strong zone and so if we do begin to break the daily wick from yesterday I feel like, you know, 155, 300 shouldn't be hard to break through and continue to 155, um, at least 600. Yeah, yeah. I mean, above 300, you got clean traffic all the way to 600. Yeah. So that's that's a clean zone for you. But for sales, I mean, if we yeah. form resistance below 762, yeah, you can see potential sales, but anything below that, uh, above that, no way. Yeah, thanks. It's your four hour resistance at that point, seven six. Yeah, and also, what concerns me when you're checking the last two daily candles, we broke the highs and the lows, you know. And yeah, I don't know. In the, in the past, we could trust, you know, we, we broke a daily level and then it's clear we are going up, no problem. But in the last two days, we broke the highs and the lows. Not a hundred percent. I mean, it made sense to reject the daily resistance to and the left. Yeah, and also the daily candle yesterday um, does not close above 155. We closed uh, a bit above this uh, two other candles, but not really strong. It's not not uh, what you what you really want to see. Like, oh yeah, we are going bullish, no problem. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, we closed re literally at the daily exactly. resistance. Yeah, man. Yeah. Spot on. Yeah, but so, pretty nice um, chart. This chart, uh, man, sent in pretty good. Respected. Oh, twice, that's my student. Across. Yeah, it's very nice. That's my student, Luke. Very, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy for him. Honestly, he's doing very, really well. Very, very nice. Uh, so he hold. I, I think he held as well when it's. Yeah, 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 yeah. He sent to me, pretty and good. I was just like questioning, why did you take that? You know, 
and he explained to me everything. That's very nice. Smart, smart man. Yeah, he's he's learning really good, man. I'm really proud of him. Najim, hundred percent, man. Good morning. Yo, what's up? Oh, the big boss here. <laughs> work. That's what I did. At, that's what I did at work. You sm- <laughs> took off your shirt. Smack some I'm on sick. I'm on His sick. manager said I was sick for a month. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. shit. Damn. You, you got burnout. Yep. Nice. Really do though. Stop loss call hit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Friday. Uh, when it, when was it? Two days ago, my stop loss got hit two times before I caught the full move. Oh, damn. On those sales, did catch those sales. What I predicted to eighteen seventy five on gold. Yeah, gold is it look looks like gold's having a hard time at this zone. So I think we're gonna retrace soon before going further up. That's my yeah. uh, what I'm yeah. looking for. I'm not exactly. looking for buy straight away. Mm -mm, it's too high. Yeah, find a higher. Never right buy there. So yeah. now, Guala, you have a full month of becoming a full time trader. Not really. <laughs> you might, you might I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be busy, bro. Mm. I'm gonna still trade every day though. Since now I have, you know that month. But mm -hmm. yeah, like today Just I'm already off going. Shirt, to the gym. Mate, it's already off. It's oh, hot. I as love it. <laughs> it's hot as egg. That's why the camera's off. Super hot here already. H O to them. E. So we got Marcus in the house as well. I like Marcos men with thirty percent less month probably. Yeah, hopefully Good next evening. Good hello, hello. evening. Morning. Afternoon. Morning. Night. Yeah. Anybody nice anybody get um CPR yesterday? No. Nope. Call that like buy stop, sell stops, five five pips above and below the fifteen minute low and high. But I didn't take them personally. I chickened out. I uh, had a buy stop. Mm. And then I saw it. I didn't have a sell stop. I just had a buy stop, and I saw it drop mm -hmm. straight away. And as it was coming back up, I pulled out my buy stop because I was thinking, "Oh, what if it's just getting liquidity and then going back down?" Just like uh, Roger. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. did the same. He removed it too. True. Yeah, I told the guys yeah. to also remove their buy stops because I mean, once it came down, I'm like, "Yeah, you don't want it to to, to activate both or orders, right?" No. <laughs> Well, I didn't have the sell stop just to buy. Yeah, indeed. Mm. Oh, well, it is what it is. We learned from that, right, Max? Well, <laughs> man learns from history that man never learns from history. <laughs> it's going to uh, take a little bit of a thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's a delicate one. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm going to have to think about that for a minute <laughs> to understand. That's what my history teacher used to say at school. I deep talk. It's very, it's very true. Yeah, man. Because every scenario in the forex market is is based on probabilities and differences. So, yeah. So you know, I should have left my buy stop in, and next time if I leave my buy stop in, it's going to grab liquidity and go in the other direction. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, yeah, it just uh, comes to the point of how you manage risk if, if the position gets in. Yeah, and probabilities. Yeah, 100%. You can be wrong, but you still become right. <laughs> That's another deep talk. <laughs> Man's going deep. That's a delicate situation on gold there now. Like you see that candle? Those fifteens are so weak. Uh, 
highs and lows are being, uh, I mean, yeah, highs and lows are being respected right now, so. Damn, when it is what it is, right? Hey, Luke, you're from the Netherlands, right? No. No. Oh. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> What's what up, a man? guy. Man, it's Friday morning. I'm <laughs> still tired and you are making jokes here. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Russia, but... <laughs> oh, you you not look like a Russian guy, man. What do you mean, man? My name is Dimitrov. Dimitrov? <laughs> <laughs> no, but... they're, named, they're named Dimitri. Dimitri. You try harder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's Dimitri. Hello, Let's guys. See. My name is FPS Russia. <laughs> 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 yeah, but go ahead. You wanted to say something about what, the what Netherlands? I, what I wanted to say, um, you, you, you from the Netherlands are uh, really crazy for bikes, right? For uh, bicycles. Bicycles. Oh. Yeah, yeah but probably I'm the only Dutch guy without one. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wanted, I wanted to say you something, bro. Well, I had one, yeah. I can do release, but go ahead. Yeah, um, no, I'm I'm German Amazon seller, and I'm selling bicycle wall mounts, which means you can hang your bike on the wall. And I'm also now listed in Amazon Netherlands. Oh, really? You can put the link in the Zoom chat. So you can put like your, your bicycle on the wall, like a painting. Yeah, when when I send it in, you can see it. Give me a moment. So, so like art? Uh, no, like... Um, Just to hang uh, your bike. <laughs> <laughs> For example, when, when, you, when you have a garage, I don't know how big they are in, in the Netherlands, but you most have the problem, you don't want to let it out because it uh, may get stolen, you know? But when you want to put your car in the garage, you don't have any space. We don't have so, car garages, we have bicycle yeah. garages. Yeah, so, for real. So you put... You open the door and only the bicycle fits in and you close the door. <laughs> yeah. Really, man? But yeah, yeah, so it's like, you have, you you have like a sense. really big garage, right, where the car goes in. And then here people do have like, like a small door, like a locker. And then you open it up and you ride the bicycle and you close the door. So, huh, and that's cool. the entire garage. So there you have to also place all, all the maintenance stuff and all your, your hammers and all that stuff. So. The garages are like are like maybe four or five times smaller than the actual garages that you, you guys have, you know. We don't mm -hmm. have cars over here. So we only have we bicycles. Have <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I just in the Netherlands and I would uh, guarantee I saw at least one car. Yeah, I'm just uh -huh. fucking with you. That's <laughs> 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 just a joke. But yeah, I could do send the link man. Oh, oh, it's uh, uh, it's placed in right the YouTube. It looks good. <laughs> well, how many hammers do you have? That's a good question. Fucking 40. No joke. <laughs> yeah, we. I used to. Uh, I. I did the. I did the. I did like a. So what's it called? I had. I had like a degree in uh, in maintenance and welding. And uh, me in that class, we. Every single person used to uh, uh, save something. So the one person was saving loads of hammers. The other one was saving whatever the fuck they could save. And yeah, sometimes uh, you had like an entire box filled of 40 hammers. Or 50 or whatever. Nice. Yeah, I, I used to you save those um, uh, hammers and the... the what do you call it? What are these things called? I don't even know the Dutch name. Hmm. 
they were pretty expensive. I had like a fuck ton of them. Uh, it's called a caliper. Uh, yeah. Calipers. No, no, no. <laughs> a caliper is schuifma. Do you know the word? Oh, oh yeah, those measuring yeah. things. Oh Bro, yeah. I had like fucking twenty of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it comes along with your. Yeah, school. like two hundred each. I had like digital ones too. They're like one fifty. Oh damn! I, I had like, I had too many, man. Because it's on the one mark plans. Yeah. Man. I still have. I think I still have seven or something. But that was years ago, man. That was a pretty long time ago. But that was pretty fun. Sometimes when I look back into that time, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I made it. Yeah. But you got an interesting question. You go to the coffee shop, Luke. No, man. I don't smoke. <laughs> Only smoke crack. No, no. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't do anything. I don't, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do weed. I rarely drink. I'm boring. Oh. Just, uh, it's better to inject it, right? <laughs> Are you mad? Are you mad? No, I'm not. I'm not into the drug thing, man. Just selling on this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't. I was about to say the same thing, but I was like, let's not do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't do anything. I don't do anything. People gonna be saying me, "Oh, you're lying." No, I'm not lying. I actually never did drugs before. Never did drugs before. You believe that Dutch guy didn't say no, he never did trucks before. For real. I think for Dutch guys, um, wheat is, is not a drug, it's medicine, right? Bro, so yeah, for me it's a drug. <laughs> for me it's a drug. Yeah, sure. I've, I've seen a lot of, um, from people from school that have, you know, de degraded because of that, you know, weed kind of thing. So, I mean, stay, stay away from it. It is what it is, right? Especially yeah. the MBO I'm, schools. I'm, yeah, bro. <laughs> you don't <wanna> know. <laughs> People come into school, they puff it in the brakes, come into school. They're drunk. <laughs> They're drunk while well, that I've never... Oh, yeah, I've experienced no, a lot of things, man. <laughs> I've, I've never done that, but I was laughing. Especially on the same thing where the hammers got collected and shit. That was next level, man. That was next level. Everyday police showed up. Shit. Yeah, fights. For... Oh, 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 damn. Yeah, man. Every single day, someone's going to the police station. No joke. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, but it is what it is. So good. Yeah, I think that, that retracement is coming right now. We just made that liquidity grab back up or, or a rejection. I want to say liquidity grab all the time. Rejection back up and... If we fake out, I think the probability of coming all the way back down is going to be pretty high. Yeah, I mean, I think the same, but I think we're going to, what I said before, have a retrace in 95 and then continue back up towards 1903. I found it interesting how many locals in the Netherlands don't smoke weed considering it's legal. What percentage would you say do smoke? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, people think that people in the Netherlands, they all fucking smoke the entire day right but that's not true i think i think i think only 30 or 40 percent actually smokes and that's that's of the young guys right and the young girls and women and men uh, i think i think overall if you include everyone i think it's 10 or 20 percent like at least in a room one or two guys in the room smoke Except for me. Yeah, uh, and from the people that do smoke, they're gonna be smoking all day, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm not into that thing, man. Yeah. I'm not into that.
You got a question, uh, Master P, about IC markets. I think it's all based on Euro, man. Hey, look, can you take a look into my chart? I send it. Look, so you're not you're no longer trading with IC markets? No. All right. Oh, it looks pretty sick, Rhino. Thank you, man. Have you designed it yourself, or? Yeah, it's uh, it's um, a house. The uh, English word. I don't know how to describe it, but um, it's uh, our design. It's a registered uh, brand, also in Europe. And yeah, I also have other products, but this is uh, one of the best sellers. Yeah. So it's also available in, in the whole uh, in whole Europe, but um, I specialize it um, for the Netherlands. I let uh, translate my my listing because when you are not translating it, Amazon translates for you, and this is not <laughs> not yeah. the best uh, translate to do. Uh, yeah, the pictures are only not translated, so all the pictures are still. In yeah, the sure. Picture. Yeah, the the problem is you cannot. Um, so you can just upload several pictures for your whole um, for your whole Amazon listing, and yeah. um, this is the reason many people have it in English. But um, I sell the most in Germany, so it's the language is like, still. In, how in many Germany. do you around sell like uh, a week or a... Um, uh, per month between one thousand five hundred and two thousand of these? Holy shit! That's, uh, that's pretty good, man. A lot of mm -hmm. demand for them. That's pretty good. So you sell like uh, you sell a lot of them then. Yeah, Fifty-two hundred. Other other products. I have uh, twenty-three um, carat. I don't know if this is the English word gold, edible gold, like you know it maybe from the Ribery steak or Nusret, yeah. for example, uses. Um, it's uh, certificated in Germany, and yeah. Show me. Send the link. Um, I think when you when you are clicking on my on my brand name on the link I sent you, or I can send it again. Oh, I can. Brand name. Oh, my question was in the Zoom. What's your ICR based? Yeah, it's euros. Rahanel. I'm fine. Think is in the zoom. Oh yeah, the gold leaves, edible gold leaf. And the, the interesting part of this is um, from the bicycle hormones, I get sales from yeah Germany, Switzerland, Italy, and so on. But this, I also had orders from Dubai, from Cyprus. So it's really crazy how the People oh shit! Are finding you. Yeah. That's crazy. Big man. <laughs> that's 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 the brand. <laughs> no, no. Um, this was I. I didn't had a uh, a brand name before. I registered a, a brand because you have more more opportunities for advertising on Amazon when you have a registered brand. And um, the big man is um, just an English translation for my second name, so um, like the company name. Yeah. You're pretty expensive compared to other ones, or is it just the quality a lot higher as well? Um, I am the only one on Amazon who um, can prove the the trust. You know, it's uh, certificated in Germany. It's labor proofed in Germany, not in China, not in Czech or something like this. Yeah. Quality. And the other ones. Uh, mostly are Chinese sellers. Oh, yeah, I see. You got and they the... give a shit, you know. They are sitting far, far away, and uh, German rules or European rules, um, it would be too expensive to go against them, so they can do whatever they want, you know. Yeah. See. How much do you sell at this? Um, to be honest, it uh, was going down because of the whole Corona thing. Um, yeah. Before I had uh, customers like uh, Hard Rock Cafe in Wien, 
um, and several um, bakeries and so on. At this moment, I don't know, in the, in the month, about 150, 200, it's really going down. Because all was closed, you know, and also it's uh, like more like luxury. It's not what you, yeah. you buy in your normal life to put it on your coffee every day or something. Yeah, like yeah. This. I understand. Like if everything is open, all the everything is open, like um, like restaurants and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And so with these gold leaves, <laughs> does your I I don't want to I don't know if I can really say, but does your like when it comes out the other end is it no cool? oh my god <laughs> i don't know man i to be honest i never i oh, never uh, tried it but the thing is some people ask yeah. me if they can buy it for um how to say it now you know when you when you are buying gold to grow the value um it's not really possible because these um sheets are very very thin just uh, several yeah. micrometer sure. because when it would be thicker um, uh, thicker, sorry, um, then it would be like if you are eating um, metal. Yeah, sure. And this is not what the customer want, you know. What, what does it taste like? Nothing. Yeah, I've heard about these things before. I've seen them on YouTube just randomly. Pretty, pretty nothing. When it when it tastes like metal, like iron, um, then it's not it's not clean, you know and uh or like when you when you smell blood like this it's also smell a bit like like iron you know yeah. um and this is what you don't want it's taste like dimitri that. it makes your poop all sparkly i uh, yes have you ever eaten like the leaf gold in dubai no no didn't try oh, okay 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 Edible gold from Rhino coming in hot. <laughs> I see this candle trying to break up, but at the end of the day, we're five minutes in, one hour open, no bottom wick. Yeah. Zero bottom wick, so. You gotta wait for the bottom wick to form. delicate situation right now i mean yeah you could expect price to continue moving on but at the end of the day do understand that the bottom wick is not there probably sells if it keeps bearish i think marcos entered a cell yeah yeah he did based on the five minute close yeah i saw that afterwards but it made made sense to yeah i'm not i'm not looking for cells in inside this range though that's the thing oh no but that's gg i was talking about gold where oh, gold took... broke structure on the five minute i think he took a cell no he took a cell on, on gj yeah but also He's mentioned gold, sell gold. Really? Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, it makes sense because I was looking at the same thing. I don't know if this candle is going to break further up. Even though we're... You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael, I'm a chef. And it gets used on a lot of pastries and sometimes meats. Nice. Yeah, when you when you uh, check the video on my Amazon listing, um, this guy is a friend of mine and he cooks for the for the German um, how to say it national. Um, I don't know how to say it. Not like cooking, cooking, cooking uh, like pasta or something like this. Um, like uh, Michael said, like. Um, Pastisseries and something like this. Yeah. And on steaks, I've seen it. Used yeah, it. steaks. I think it's uh, the most um, the the most people know about because of uh, Nusrat in the in the last year, Salt Bay. He really um, showed it very often on his IG. Nice. Ricardo took them too. Very nice. 
what the GG sells? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I took the sales on on GJ at 03. It was uh, mm. once it broke the, the Fed minute low. Yeah, 031. I got in a little bit earlier, but I really wish what I really wanted to do was take the sales on GA at 70. 82.7. GA is falling uh, out of the sky. Yeah, Australian dollars going up. Uh, yeah, I, I saw the GA sales, but I've never traded it before. Used going, like going up. Damn. Anyway, I'm up. <laughs> I shouldn't come <laughs> 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 I'm up. Uh, I've already closed some. So I've got my target at 154.79. I think I'm going to close another half uh, percent here. Hey, Ricardo, okay. what pairs do you trade? Sorry? And what, what pairs do you trade? Uh, well, I've been trading gold and I haven't been trading GA, but I, I, sh I want to. Uh, yeah. And I haven't really been trading GJ, mainly gold. Yeah. Uh, this is the first GJ trade I've taken in a long time. But... I wanted to see where was it Frank who was in a buy? Yeah, just yeah. buys at the top. Yeah, when it uh, up and around uh, fifteen, I wanted to short it there. I should have done it because it had no it had no volume to go higher. Yeah, it's still at that same level. I don't I think it's. Felt... What do you say? I'll go on. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, I've seen that happen so many times where it'll push up uh, before volume and then there's not enough volume to break any kind of range yeah. and it just comes down. And if you look at the that 15... Yeah, I was looking yeah. at the 5, that looked pretty good as well. Yeah, it like just mirrors that first bluish look. candle Yeah. Uh, on, on the 15. It was like a bearish candle, bullish candle, bearish candle. And I thought, okay, this is going to yep. come down. Uh, and there's a couple of big wicks down there at 154.79 on the on the 15 minutes. Remember on um, Tuesday, I was saying that gold had made its high. It was going to drop to to. Well, I thought it was going to go lower than where it did. It went to what 1869. I thought it was going to make it to 54. Coming down slowly to a risky buy a selling zone on GJ. Gold. Hmm. I mean, I think if we start flipping back down, there is just not enough volume to break up. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys. We're about to hit 10k. We're trying to hit it today. So uh you know what to do. Oh no, yeah, we're 30 away from 900 and then uh that 100 left to go today. But we might be able to make it. And that would be insane. Lucas and you chart, please. Jack, come on. Can't wait to see you dance off. Shit. Yeah. Gonna be. <laughs> I'll send the New York live stream. You can use this link. Uh, oh, well, if you the chat Oh, yeah. Oh, it makes sense, man. Going back to the bottom of the range. Price is respecting this level. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, to be honest with you. Very good.
Man, GA. Look at look at gold. Gold's about to fucking fly down. I think when it flips Ooh. or if the next fifteen minute breaks this weak bullish fifteen minute low, it's definitely might just go down. Yeah. I don't know if I want to be in that. I'm really, really wow. deciding right now. GA yeah. didn't care about nobody, man. It's gone. I mean, if we break... jumped off the cliff it, on the 15 and the 5 minute to the trade the sounds look so so good but you can see on the 5 minute how it perfectly retraces and then start. I think on these pairs are quite a lot of the GA pairs I think personally I just want to do some back testing on them because they do oh that was a full on liquidity grab right there I think on gold <laughs> inside look at the one minute back down jumps up yeah just grabbed orders right there it just broke the high though but let's see i didn't get in i was waiting for the flip if it flipped then i was going to be looking for an entry <laughs> but if we reject it again and we have this 15 minute candle I'll break the previous lows, then I'm gonna probably uh, look for cells. I mean, taking buys in this range is, I, for, for some reason, I feel like it's way too small. Like, let's say price closes in a second, retraces back down, breaks a high, then you only have like, you know. 16 17 pip range you know and from the bottom of this range this could have been a 23 pip range it doesn't just doesn't look that appealing i mean it might fly but that doesn't mean that you have to be in it right <laughs> last 30 seconds this kind of was doing some weird shit as well so Candle's about to open in a couple seconds. It's delicate right now, to be honest. New candle open. But yeah, at the end of the day, if you just look at the range, there's not enough range for you. 10, 12 pips closed up top. Might come back down retest, but. Yeah. I mean, we did close above, but I don't know how high the probability is that we're going to break this 1903 level and continue moving up towards uh, 1909. I think, yeah, bullish momentum is going to continue, but for how long right now is that going to continue? Yeah. The inverse of what you saw yesterday, where price was coming down to support and then you know, broke through that support. Now it's coming up to resistance. Well, it's already past the four hour resistance, but mm -hmm. only coming up to those weeks right now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I would wait. I don't think London session has the volume to break a four hour support, statistically speaking. I mean, we already just got out. It did yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. It already got out but today, so. But that can easily be a four hour wick. So I'd be more yeah, looking yeah. for a fake out if sells buys will happen towards New York, I think. I got no no idea, Diego. No idea. I don't think the candle should come further down to the nine uh, to nineteen oh one six. I think if you start flipping and you're in, you should be good. I mean, you have this wick to fill, right? So you should, the potential of going up filling that wick is pretty good, but it's just 
Read it, range. One hour still doesn't have a lower wick, so yeah, we close outside with this one hour, and you know. but you see how how weak how how strong is this candle? It's pretty weak, right? So I'm waiting. I rather want this candle to you know create a resistance, come back down, create a support, and then buy that support. just started flipping so i think i think if you have a stop loss below 650 right now 1901 650 i think that should be good broke the high but the thing is how big is the range for you right until this four hour wick that's what you want to know i mean overall clean traffic to the to the left for sure I think you should continue moving up towards the top. I don't know how far you're going to get after that, but let's see. I mean, statistically, we should be able to make a higher high soon back up towards 1909. So, but there is potential to come back towards this level right here as well to create a new higher high at first. I mean, daily is all good. Can you moving up even to that 1909 level? Monthly is about to flip back up after creating a wick. Being viewed so slowly for me yet, so it always has a delay to your military. What I mean today, guys. There are BW. Sea of red on GA. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Yeah. That's a drop. That's what I wanted. You in? No, I I, I got GJ. I, I wanted oh. a short GA, but I, I, I don't know. I, I went with GJ for some reason. What about GJ? Anyway. Still going, but it's not as uh, yeah, not as volatile. I want to see support being created above eight six six, and then maybe I take my first entry for selling, and then look at my second potential sells at six twenty. Man, oh, all right, look, I'm not trading a on a Friday. Shower. I'm gonna head out. Yeah, perfect. And uh, see you in the evening, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. All right. All right, guys, stay, be safe. DJ, you took them as well. Very nice. Yes. Very, very nice. Then pip stop, 14 pip target. Yeah, very good. 
nice execution very very nice yeah for me personally i'm not really like a range trader so i'm not really looking to be inside this range uh, maybe on gold if we come back down but it seems like we're continuing so if we continue back up to the top wait for support to form retest at the high and continuation after that it's going to be the plan at that moment if you were in you would have already been up uh, like four pips pretty nice Keep in mind for the buyers that you still have a one hour candle without a bottom wick. With gold, I think this is just my opinion, but I think what will happen is this four hour needs to close above the previous structure four hour. Um, yeah. If it closes below, yeah. then it's, you know, it's. Yeah, then it's respect. I'm going to continue up, but yeah. I think it's bullish, so it will continue up, so it has to close above it. Yep. And then I think. The next four hour, which will be the New York four hour, will most likely reach the top structure. Don't know how high, but 19, 1908, 1911. Man, like Rafik, 10k incoming. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you too, your brother. You, bro. Yeah, man. W2, yeah, bro. Buys above 1903.60. Good, because it's a weekly a weekly resistance at that point. 1903.60. Yeah. I would look a little bit longer for that four hour to break at that moment. But that makes a lot of sense what you just called out. Makes a lot of sense. I think so. <laughs> Kind of like the same thing as yesterday where the four hours coming down to support and then it closed below support and new york like corrected the clean traffic to the left but i think if we start flipping we might reject off this entire level and start coming down towards uh 95. Yeah, exactly yeah don't know if we want to be taking it but that's a probability you know <laughs> I mean, it's certainly happened before, but we're still in London. If we start breaking down and disrespecting this zone, we should continue down at least at a 9 7. At least. Oh, did you see the news about um, Bitcoin? I think it's El Salvador planning to use it. What? Um, what what's the Bitcoin price, anyways? Um, it's 36668. <laughs> Not that bad, but this support. Yeah, I think it jumped up like 18, 20%, something like that. Yeah. Eesh. When, when the news about the El Salvador thing was mentioned. When you're still deciding to get in <laughs> and it just <laughs> flies. No, I didn't, I didn't really decide. I wanted to get in once you started, you know, going towards that two, three K. I think at some point it had like two points something. That was a good entry if you got that. Yeah. Yeah, on Euro it hit like 2.8k, I think. 1.4, 2.8. I don't know how much exactly, but. Looks like <clears throat> my run is about to get stopped out. I think gold's coming down slowly. Oh, come on now. 
Hmm. <laughs> I've got my stock just under, about a pip under where I, where I got it, just to cover the commission. Yeah, Come so on, man. You took some profits, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've only got a little runner. By the way, do we get some Friday music? Choo choo. Uh, <clears throat> I'm all out of songs. I haven't played for a while. Can we have choo choo? I have, I have to prepare something. You need yeah. to make a recording. I mean, of you know, if you got yeah. if you got you over the ten thousand subscribers, then for the ten thousand, okay, okay, ten thousand choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs> but you have to be there in New York, then, right? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I'll be there for a little while. Oh, sure, sure, thing. sure. Guys, if you want to hear Choo Choo, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, GJ. Oh, it's, yeah. Hmm. We'll see how, see how this 15 minute closes on GJ. And then. Yeah, that yeah, does look good. pretty big. It's a pretty big rejection wick. Yeah, that's a huge Five rejection minute. wick. Breaking structure. Yeah, yeah. Goal is uh, still deciding whether to go up or down. Coming back up now, but well, there it goes. It goes my stop. Uh, yeah, cut the stop, and now it goes. Oh, but it was it was a good day today because I didn't lose. So yeah, I mean I'm in the top ten percent of traders. Exactly. For a day, at least. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Made it. Did you go surfing uh, this morning? I went swimming and it was fucking freezing. It was so good. <laughs> it was It was so good. It was, uh, the air was about 10 degrees. And the water? No, the air. Actually, it was a bit colder than that. I think it was about seven degrees in the air. Oh, damn. The water is a bit warmer, but it was still, it was very cold. But it was crystal clear, like this. Really? Uh, yeah, this, um, where, where I swim there, where you've seen the photos. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was very, they clean it every, they empty it every Thursday and refill it. It just comes oh, in from the sea. But that's like the pool, right? The pool pool from uh, the natural pool. <laughs> Yeah, it's a natural. Well, it's a built pool, but it's, it's seawater. They yeah. they pump in, mm. and I got in this well, today because the wind chill was was uh, below freezing. It's the wind that gets you. Yeah, I don't and know what I, I'm gonna uh, do on this this thing. I mean, I started swimming and I felt good. Oh, look at that! Lipped bearish, broke the thirty yeah. minute low, breaking structure, respecting resistance, should come down yeah. to support. I'm, I'm not taking waiting it as, for uh, a little bit. Um, you you would want to see like a bullish five minute candle, then break of that yeah. five minute candle. I'm not gonna trade a Friday. <laughs> Last Friday it wasn't fun, <laughs> so I'm gonna relax. You get getting in a put. Getting in the pool or a, or a lake or the sea is much better than doing the showers if, you, if you're anywhere near True, something yeah. like that. And salt water is also like very healing. Salt water is fabulous. Yeah. Absolutely. I hate yeah. uh, lake water. It's so nasty. <laughs> it can be, yeah. Yeah. I live on the lake as well. I've got a huge lake mm. here. But that's um, salt water as well. Mm. Okay. Salty lake. <laughs> yeah, there's an inlet. Where uh, it's being a little bit salty. Yeah. Yeah, GJ is going to continue down.
Yeah, GJ is going to fill this week and then break that support. If it doesn't reject daily. But I'm in gold cells, though. Call me crazy. Nice. You, <laughs> man. Yeah, I got, um, let's see, 16 pips stop. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I'm going to just take this one trade and, uh, or do you take it on the hourly flip? Five, no, five minute, uh, resistance. Five minute, uh, yeah, that first red five minute candle and the second red candle did the open of this five minute candle. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Should be good. I mean, 30 minutes break in the previous lows, rejecting and respecting. So it's just kind of tricky to where you yeah. take profit in a counter trend yeah. trade. Yeah. But so I think I'm this is looking right where here. I would buy from. But coming down all the way there wouldn't make sense. <laughs> so I'm kind of just looking. Yeah, previous 15 minute close back into the range was perfect. That was a fake up. Yeah, let's and see if we can up. break this this level right here at 19, 1900 flat. Let's see. Yeah, this one I hour just flip took very a small like that sell. Well, let's see if we can hit some levels. Yeah, the sell stop at 1900. Mm, no, I just. Uh, slightly. Like, I just clicked it. But I don't know if I'm a, the biggest fan. Because yeah, these know, sales are risky. Yeah, yeah trash, risky, trash. risky. These trash are trash entry. Like my entry was trash. This is like you gonna risk it for the biscuit, or you gonna just watch it go? No, no, <laughs> they're not risky. It's it's London. London doesn't necessarily have the volume to break out of uh, support or resistance on the four. Okay. I mean, let's see. As long as it doesn't hit my stop loss, <laughs> yeah. and it keeps going down. Yeah, that's fine. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know the way this respecting this candle. Like, I have a trash entry, like a trash, trash entry. Yeah, I literally. So I'm not literally risking. I'm not gonna call this one out on the stream 40. as well because it's, it's just hella ugly. I'm not even risking a percent on this. Less than a half a percent. I took a small position. Like it's already going in the wrong direction. So. Yeah, let's see. I mean, this five minute needs to start coming down though. But... Just the way it's moving. Don't know. I want to stay in this. Works, yo yo, what you doing? Uh, me, it makes sense, but only my entry didn't make sense. That's the only issue. I had the, the worst entry you could possibly think of. The low. Okay. I got fucking slipped badly. You got stopped out? No, I got slipped. Slipped? Yeah. Oh. That's really, really badly. Might just call it out. No. I'm not a fan. I mean, this five minute doesn't have a bottom wick yet, so maybe wait for that. Right now, it's not showing any good, good movement. Good movement signs at all. Yeah, this is risky trade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. um, yeah on my yeah, I'm, I don't know about where you guys, I'm, but I'm like I'm bullish on gold. Yeah, me too. I'm yeah, still yeah. bullish. Yeah. I am bullish. Uh. I just want to risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> I risk one zero point forty percent is on the table of my account right now. So. Zero forty. Zero point forty percent. Hey, Not lost. You're entering percent. based on full no, I, was, I was entering based on the one hour uh, flip. This is a this is a rejection on the one hour. I mean, yeah, I was I entered on the one hour flip, but the only problem was that my my entry slipped like fucking big time. And that's why I'm not in a nice position right now. Like, I wanted to enter right here, and I entered, like, uh, I don't even know exactly. Like, right here. I slipped, like, six pips, like, no fucking joke. So, 
That's what, I, what what my thing right now is why I don't like it. Candles are still closing in your direction. Yeah, it's it's going okay and it's dropping down, but the way it moved at first, like, yeah. It's not that risky. We know that like we're at a daily and four hour support. If you look yeah. at the daily, previous daily closed below. I mean, so this. If you don't you understand what's going on, yeah, then it looks really, really, really risky. But for me, what only makes it risky right now is my entry, and my entry is trash. So that's the only thing I'm bothered about right now. That's why I closed 50% of break even. I still want to give it a chance because, you know, I got in, but my entry is just bad. Yeah, I'm up 10 pips. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I should have been up right now nearly, nearly 10 pips as well, but my entry is so bad that right now I break even level. Man, imagine That's going thing. down to, because like, I'm like, would it make sense for it to come back down to, yeah. uh, to 1881, 681? Like, it doesn't make sense for it to come back like, down. The way it just smacked down, like, in a second, which got me slipped, was really, really bad. Yeah, that's messed up. Yeah. I was gonna, gonna, gonna get in at 19, uh, uh, uh 91, one, f uh, yeah, 1901 flat. And I just. Yeah, there you go. I already called out the number, I showed it. It's 94. Uh, 1904 so that's pretty much at my break even level right now i'm like two pips in profit and yeah, my 15 uh, that's, i don't want to put it on the screen because it's if you don't understand this trade i just don't want people to get stuck in into it you know like my stops have already been set on the current five minute high to make sure that i only lose very little if i lose I only lose like barely anything i closed 50 percent of the break even because i didn't like the way my Entry uh, got open when we got back at break even. We were going to 10 pips, it's 10 pips, but let's see. But four, if four, this four hour pips, would five, close five. like this, you're bound for a reversal. Yeah. Going deep. It's pretty much looking like this right now. Entry is at four. I have stop loss right here. Five minute close without really without bottom wick. So being careful. Target is right there. This price is not allowed to break this high anymore. My initial stop was right here, so my stop is a little, way smaller right now. Let's see. I mean, the only problem is that now my Mender traded a five minute close without a bottom wick, which I don't really like. But it makes sense to retrace a little bit to make a five minute five minute wick you know yeah as long as the 15 closes below that 15 support you're good yeah 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 i mean i'm the only thing i'm bothered about is my entry because with my entry i should have been at 10 plus 12 pips right now you know my i was planning to get my entry right here and as soon as it broke it just banged down straight away and then my entry was just like six pips below Look at this. That's a slippage of five and a half pips right there. That's too much. This five minute needs to needs to start flipping soon, and then it'd be good. I think. I think we could retest this level and then continue moving back now. Let's see. No, 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 fan of the counter trend entries. Yeah, I understand that. I just closed another 50% at break even, so I have a very small position left. If if I go out, I'm only going to probably be on a one or two pip stop, uh, one or two pip loss. But the thing is, I just wanted to go down straight away, not back up. Yeah, it's not even a counter trend entry. Like, gold is ranging, it made a support, it's making resistance, so it can head down to support. Yeah. 
Yeah, this the bottom week on the five minute on Meditrader fucked it up. Doesn't have a, a bottom week on a Meditrader, and that counts too much. So, yeah, based on that, if we break the candle high of the previous candle, I'm gonna get out. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> what else are you gonna do? Cancel the stop loss? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't Probably, know like. <laughs> Depends. Like I got, got got a couple of positions where I can manage my risk, right? So yeah, you say probably. But if if my options. if my entry was where I, where I was planning it to be, then I would have been in good profits. But the way that slip was just nasty. Yeah. 100%. Like if it went down from from the entry I wanted to have, where I actually clicked a button that was ten pips. So. But yeah, let's see. I'm not putting a high stop loss. This is good. In a, I'm in an impulsive sell, so this is impulsive. Yeah. You don't want price to come back up, break highs anymore. Like if you're in a normal position, you could expect price to do that. But right now, I don't know. And if I get out, I get out. It is what it is then, right? Yeah, to the fact that my position's so small, I have my stops above this one hour wake. Well, above this one hour candle, sorry. So I can risk that extra breathing room. Yeah, that makes sense. But I'm still watching it, though. If I see some crazy movement, then I'm just going to cut it. <clears throat> Currently, yeah. Yeah. You got the pretty much that flip, right? Flipping into you on the one hour. You got like not the flip. Oh, it was kind of still bullish. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. One. I just saw it. I just anticipated it on the five minute coming down. Okay, let's see where it's going to go. Oh, man. Look at the, the way my entry is. Okay, That's no. okay. It's, but if it, yeah, if it but just keeps going down in, and it keeps... in the range itself, it's not good, man. It's yeah, good. but I'm I'm I'm, I'm I mean, only a, I'm up five a little bits, bit above. But... <laughs> yeah. Ooh, damn! Look at that five minute open. That shit just yeah. clashed to the ground. Yeah. I mean, I was anticipating that this the entire time when price was up here. So people calling out some sort of FOMO. No, I was already anticipating this to happen. But the only problem was where I wasn't. Why I wasn't comfortable was because of price uh, just slipping. What? The uh, fudge? I, I don't know what off. just happened there. I don't know what yeah. just happened there. I don't know what you did. <laughs> did you, did see, you that? see that? What? <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> like what? Relax. <laughs> it just created a top wick. No, it just it just I'm a meditator. Like ding 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 ding. Yeah, but how it created a top wick? It was yeah, just yeah. like wicked. <laughs> just throwing them. Good trade there, Luke. I would have took that as well, personally. Yeah. yeah this is the but classic is, setup for London on gold. But the thing is, people, if you don't understand this trade, that's why I didn't want to call it out straight away because it's just, uh, it could do nasty things with you. So, and this is what it did to me. A nasty thing slipped me big time. And Frank took it too, by the way. I heard him come in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> nice, Frank. Nice, Frank. <laughs> Nice, my life, Frank. Nine hundred oh one fifty four. Nice when the five minute close back inside. Is banking. Well, yeah, exactly. Made back that TJ loss. Yeah, yeah I took, so I still I only took seventy five percent because I'm still anticipating my TP with this one is the one hour previous wake fill to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Where would that be? Like, oh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it'll go all the way back down. Because yeah, this for me is is actually I was I said it I mean I'm anticipating gold to have a to be sales actually yeah hundred percent because you know now it just made a deeper like it made a big wick to the upside I would say on the daily and maybe I mean that's like still a far fetched idea but not yeah, allowed to make the bullish high it close below the daily resistance and there's yeah. so. The bullish momentum may just be short-lived here. Oh, very 
Yeah, this is not nice. I'm closing another 50% of the break even. We went six pips, six pips into profit. Uh, I have very small position running. If we get tapped out, we get tapped out. It is what it is. Stop loss this above is, the uh... previous current, uh, previous five minute high. The way it's rejecting. Yes, I'm out. I'm out. Let's see what the initial loss is. I think it's nothing. I think it's full on break even. One pip. Yeah, one pip. One pip. Exactly one pip. If I if I was in at my initial entry, um, that was actually right. Wait, can I do that? That was actually right here. Then I would have been uh, been at ten pips profit, eleven pips profit. It is what it is. Break even yeah. is good as well. Break even is I solid. Yeah. Man, the way that moved, like, it just shot down when it, uh, mm -hmm. this candle it was, right? This candle just started flipping and all of a sudden, this candle just gapped down in, in a second. The moment I clicked and I just got like a six pip lower entry, a uh, six pip uh, lower entry than I actually wanted to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think once that five minute closed back below, then it was obvious that it was going to flip like the probability for it to flip yeah. was just was there i mean if you look at the one hour time frame right it makes a lot of sense this candle went up without without a bottom wick right mm -hmm. at resistance yeah at, at resistance this candle started going up and all of a sudden it started rejecting and once it started flipping what can you expect right what can you expect that price to come down hold. yeah resistance going to hold and price going to come down at least towards like 98 hmm. so I think it was a uh, was a good idea. The only problem was the execution. Once price uh, price passed ninety one flat, it just spiked down too fast, uh, which gave me a gave me an entry that was on point. But managed risk uh, after being some profits, so uh, I would have break even pretty much. Still okay. Actually, pretty good. Even though we had a bad entry. Yeah, it's come creeping up to my entry too. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to close it. Ooh, it flipped back bullish. Ain't that about a bitch? Been bullish from a 1680s, bro. You sell and you buy in in in, in market structure, man. Do you see price coming down right here? Yes, you do. So what you're gonna do? Are you gonna buy on this candle? No, right? Fucking dump. So you buy and you sell, you be fluid. Even though price is coming up bullish, it doesn't mean that you can sell here. Yeah, as a swing trader, maybe you can't. But I'm not a swing trader, so that's different. As you can see here, if you go to the four hour time frame, this was not a dumb idea, right? Because if 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 I had the correct entry, this entry would have made me money. Right? Four hour resistance right here. Price comes up. Goes up without with a one hour uh, candle without a bottom wick. Yeah, starts flipping. Yeah, after rejecting. So it was a very good idea to sell off from the level because we were rejecting a four hour resistance level. So for the people they that don't understand, they're not at the same level. You just they don't leave. understand the, the structure. Yeah, it doesn't matter, you know, based on the four hour time frame. Strong level. I mean, it'll yeah. be. It can, I mean, you. It, everyone's bullish on gold. I mean, duh. But <laughs> <laughs> you see this happening, you how, know, you know what's yeah, gonna happen. How how much power would you need to blow through here? You need a lot. New York session. Uh, yeah. I mean, you need to open. understand the session timings on gold. And London is usually the ranging session for gold. It's like the Asia session for pound yen. It's gonna range right yeah. most of the times. So so for the people that didn't understand this trade, you're lacking. You need to get some more uh, knowledge. Now he's pissed because he took a loss. Oh, I didn't take a loss. I went out at break even, my friend. Tell him to show his uh, show his trades. Yeah, trades. show show your oh, trades. Yeah, your <laughs> Let me see your account that you blew for the fifth thousand time, and you exactly. salty as hell. So you come on here and troll. I'm about to flame you, boy. They about to block me off of YouTube. <laughs> I'm about to, I'm about to... I'm about to move my mic. Yeah, there's a couple people <laughs> that are going to get blocked right now. Uh, let's see. That's the thing. I mean, 
No, you it's so to easy to well. come and say, oh, this was so e yeah, yeah, so easy. It happen and you guys don't understand that I'm in front of 400 people trading, so it's a lot different. And next to that, this idea made a lot of sense because I've had the correct entry, which I wanted, but I slipped. And this trade made total sense. And you, all you guys would be like, oh, wow, wow, that worked out. So shut the fuck up. Like, for <laughs> real. Like. <laughs> and you guys can look back at other spins as thing. well. We've taken this exact same sell multiple times. I've taken it multiple times and it's worked out more often than not. Yeah, but people need to understand that, yeah. People are talking smack in the chat. Yeah. Either or, bro, there's oh, no... Oh, this guy is gone here as well. There's no volume. Look at the last three. Uh, so, and if you want to see the loss, smaller. go to Instagram right now. I'll post it. You see how small it is. See how small it is. There's no way, no way that I'm even butter about it. The only thing I'm bothered about is that you guys, there's some of you guys talking smack, right? Nobody calls out the trades. Before. Yeah, nobody. Do you see any of you guys taking any trades live? No. So just shut the fuck up for real. Look, I mean, same thing. I called out my trade, took a loss. Yeah. Everybody, I'm, I'm sorry, but a lot of people like, oh, this, that. It's my trade. I said it's my trade. I took a loss. I was wrong. Look. This gold trade made my 15 pips, made the whole money back. Got your refund. Exactly. This trade and was a correct trade. The only thing, my entry wasn't correct. And that's 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 the bummer part about it. Uh, well, not bummer. It's, it's just, it is what it is. Next time, a better chance. But I know this setup works, you know. I know it works. So. And yeah, I mean, you can't be right all the time. And you'll make mistakes, execution yeah. mistakes, trade mistakes. Like Mark, that's just Kev part of the game. Mark Kelvin says here too, they expect 100% wins. Losses are part of trading. Exactly. This wasn't even a loss. It was a winning trade idea. I didn't take yeah. anything though. I wasn't uh, fair enough Friday. I'm good. Well, it wasn't even a loss. It was break even. So that, that's 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 a, that's the other thing. <laughs> Look, any reason for not placing a sell stop? Because I don't always like sell stops. Because uh, if a sell stop puts you in, and sometimes puts you in a position where you don't really want to be in at, at a certain. How much did you lose? I lost two euros and forty four cents. That's break even on my uh, my pip counter. So if you took the same trade and managed risk like me, then uh, you wouldn't have not lost anything. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm following you, Luke. You're a good trader. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, and for all the, ha all the haters, we're still waiting for, for them to call out trades. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because like you said, it's so easy to say after the trade happened or this and that was going to happen. But before, and to execute on it, it's a whole other story. And with real live money. Yeah, guys, exactly. That's pretty good risk management. Look at my risk management. Like, look at it. I lost pretty much nothing. It's break even. So, took the chance. Uh, decided to stay in even the bad entry was there. If I had the good entry, 10 pips would have already been secured. No, got out of break even. It is what it is. And you guys in the Gulag, don't forget to subscribe. Only 10 away from, you know, 9.9 thousand. .9, Gokhan, look, it was a great move. Learned a lot. Rejected from a major resistance and you've entered, but the price slipped down more than you expected. Yeah, it was good that you haven't entered above 1900 flat. Yeah. So it was not pretty. And it closed the trade. It was a good move. Another loss. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, I'm still in these cells. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. It should come further down. Yeah. Yeah, only 10 away from 9.9k. Master Yeah. Beat. Pretty sick. In uh, New York, you should have the live counter up and running. I'll send the link yeah. in the Zoom. Have that up and running. Once it hits, it hits. 
Is it? There we go. And the left sword is just flies down right now. Where are the buyers at? <laughs> 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 Yeah, because the New York forever you might see come down to create a bottom wick, and and maybe New York open can close above that resistance of 1901, 1902, and then NYSE will continue on upwards. See, there it goes. Who said sales weren't going to be in the building? <laughs> People that don't have the experience in gold. Yep. Clear. Great collapse. So great. It would be funny. Yeah, it is what it is, Astro. It is what it is. And the reason I had full confidence in the trade, but the only reason I didn't have confidence in the trade because the trade didn't go as planned uh, in the beginning at, at the execution. So it makes sense to not have confidence in the trade when, when not everything is on point, right? People come to copy trade when entering the market. Yeah, your trade. Not looks exactly. You come here to, you know, make try and make the same trades because you're too lazy to analyze yourself, or you don't know what the what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to, I was about to make you too mad. With that. <laughs> <laughs> about, you, you do music, uh, but I'm knocking on you. I, yeah. I had to, I had to filter that one out real quick. <laughs> Put a little. Beep. <laughs> yeah, man. That rejection on GJ doll is insane. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my breakfast. Yeah, nice. second breakfast. Perfect. And, uh, perfect. Tune in for the New York later on. Yeah, New York session is gonna be fun. We're, yeah, like, definitely. It's we're we're ten k. We're seven subscribers off of 1900 and then we have 100 to go in in new york session easy easy who's mm. gonna be the lucky seven that's gonna push us to 9.9k yeah. for the youtube yes. for i mean for london session who's gonna be those lucky those are rookie numbers man <laughs> those numbers up yeah what's your I'm at, head off see you guys in uh, new york yeah man sure yeah. sure sure yeah take care take care yeah, Luke's gonna be dancing soon. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I think this is the real time uh, counter. I think. Let's take a look. Oh no, that's not real real time counter. We already are fifty above that. Yeah, that that's not the real time counter. Yeah, now it's real time counting. Oh, it's counting them in every second. That doesn't make sense. They're not at the right price. Uh, not in the right uh, right number. Mm -hmm. G U. What about G U, my friend? These are all all analysis, by the way. So. Yeah, it's at support. I mean, maybe at the break of the low could do something or you expect price to continue moving further up there it is 30 pips in gold uh, yeah it's dropping there you go so for the people that thought gold wasn't going to go down here you go gold just went down yeah i'm, I'm eating Build that week. yes sir that was the plan but it is what it is i'm out didn't have any luck uh, because of my entry probably if i had the correct entry i would have still been in the trade um, but here you can see the analysis was correct we started coming down so for the people that thought gold was only going to go up you're lacking only you are lacking scares me is this one hour doesn't have a top wick and it's at a rejection area yeah. right now so if it would flip right now i don't think it's gonna look back yeah because they're gonna keep going so yeah that would have been 20 trade. pips from my entry so it is what it is yeah, I was, I'm up uh, right now. I'm up and look at my terminal. 28 pips on the position. Yeah, it's funny. Now we hit target, no one is saying shit. <laughs> my target ain't hit yet. <laughs> yeah, but at least with the bottom of the range, that would have been my up. target. 
So you know, I'm making money. My first trade of, of the Friday. Yeah. Directly in the profits. Yeah, very nice. Uh, the bummer, but it is what it is. Still, uh, the the analysis was correct. The bias was correct in the short term. So, next time, better entry. Get it. I believed in setup, so I stayed in the trade with good profit. Thank you, Luke. Yeah, no problem. So, you made profit. Very nice, man. Very, very nice. Good job. Let's see where it would go to on the four hour. Looking at some levels where I might hit TP at, but so choppy, it's kind of hard to figure. I took profits off that gold trade because of you. Thanks, Luke. Yeah, no problem, Ray J. No problem. Made a lot. The setup made so much sense. So much sense. Like I think I could have even left my stop loss uh, of my of my position above this level uh, to maybe have uh, have got my position a little bit more room but it is what it is got out of break even uh, the setup made so much sense to be honest with you man it made just it, just, it was uh it was a correct setup for our rejection right here the one hour started flipping uh because it didn't have a wick yet that was the entry i was looking for missed it though but it doesn't matter got in lower like a lot lower though um started going down slowly first we went up a couple times then started going down to six pips and then did a small retracement and now down to 20 pips. Got out at break even. I just I got in just before the slippage. Oh yeah, you got a lucky entry then. Damn. And if you listened before, you should have heard. Um, I already talked about it before it happened when we stall when we we were still up here. So if you rewind the stream and you hear me talking about this level and not having a, a bottom wick and I might be selling. Selling it, yeah, you would have already understand what I was gonna do. The only reason why I didn't call it out straight away is because it was just a nasty. Uh, first of all, I had a nasty entry, and second of all, it was just the trade itself is an experienced trade. You don't take this trade if you're not experienced, and that's what you see with the guys that were calling out. No, it's gonna go by. We're gonna go up, and they're all calling me out that it was dumb and this and that. They they don't understand the same things that we're looking at, and that's because they're lacking. Stevie Gee said it was perfect for a sell. Uh, can be all about timing and the entry. Yeah, especially with those entries, it's about the timing. You know, timing, timing, timing. Because it's so short, it's so short, and you want to be in straight away because there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of room for you to play. And then when you're in at the top, you got enough room, right? And for me, I didn't have enough room, so close 50 at break even um, because I didn't like it. Not to rub it in, Luke, but I entered in a new one-hour candle and now in profits. Thanks, Luke. Yeah, no problem, man. Keep on pushing it. Kristen, thanks for the value, Luke. No problem, no problem. Which track is in on your background? Called oh, Timpani Beat by Nana Kwabina. It's a, it's a London section beat, this one. <laughs> Oh, that's a quick little, uh, <laughs> that's a quick move on gold, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, from that one hour level, if I would have taken it exactly at that 19, 1901, which I wanted to be in, that, that would have been like 28 pips already. From the official entry I had, it's around 23 pips. Yeah, I'm pushing that. You secured some, um, Guara? No, <laughs> my position is too small to be securing. No. I've been knowing the risk involved in this trade. I, I, I only risked uh, zero point with, I think it was 40 or 60% on this trade. Also so for I, the, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. A, a little less than my initial lot size. Cut oh, in half. Also so. for the buyers that are still in here, for the people that was like, oh no, buys, 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 you know? Look at a four hour time frame. You will start understanding why I was looking for sales. With a very strong hand. Actually, if you go all the way back to the beginning of the stream, like the start of the stream, you hear me looking already for sales. And the reason why I was uh, looking for sales is because we have a very strong candle here, right? 
Kendall getting weaker. Kind of got a little bit stronger breakout, right? And look at the last two four hour candles. What do you see? You see weak bullish momentum, right? We see rejection from this level right here. Four hour rejection zone right here. That's why I didn't want to take buys. Yeah. Once we started flipping down, that was the point where we say this candle fully rejected this level here to the left, right? So buys, uh, sells got into play straight away. If it hits 18.95, would you sell? No. If it hits 18.95, I'm gonna be looking for buys. But this shit is dropping as expected. This is gonna go downtown. Holy. Yeah. If for all the buying people, <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. Nah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to, but I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give you the honors, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna give you all the honors, That's buddy. The thing, yeah, Jesus, you let's go. Like 40 pips. Sheesh. Yeah, this is dropping. So, you gotta, you know, if you don't understand it, don't say shit. Yeah, I'll be securing at 95, yeah. I think. That's a 40, 44 pip move down from. The entry I wanted to have. That's a 40 pip move down from the entry I had. So, you know it's messed up. This four hour engulfed. This four hour candle already engulfed the previous yeah. two hour. Uh, two four hour candles. So, <laughs> knowing that, I'm about to hold it to go deeper. Yeah. yeah you should go to 95, 190 around that. 95 around can, that. Can we get 100 pip? Um... <laughs> Wait, that's 120 pips the next day. Jonathan, do you trade full time? Yes. But yeah, at the end of the day, for me, uh, I got out of break even. But what I do know is that my analysis was on point, right? My analysis was yeah, on we point. Were talking about the it. things we were looking at were on point. We we're talking about it, as Frank said. You know, we're looking at the right thing. We know what the market is doing. We know how the market is moving. Uh, the only problem was the execution. And next to that, everything was on point. So next time, we're going to be looking at how we could have executed better. And they're all going to be good. Yeah. But it's good to see that a couple of people took it as well. So very, very nice. Because if you listen, before I took, before I announced that I got into the trade, uh, I already said what I was going to do, right? So if you listen, well... You could have had the same entry, or I mean, the better entry. <laughs> I just clicked like a second too late to, uh, for that spike down, which caught me. Are you living in London? No, no, I live in uh, in the Netherlands. One minute time frame was showing us cells with two, four, three, three settings. Oh, I don't know what that is, man. But trapped on impulsive entry by lost 50. Now sells 100. Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Oh, we're about to hit uh, 9,900. Yep, we hit it. 9,900. We got 100 left to go for a uh, <laughs> for New York session soon. Put that horn on. Thank you, thank you guys. Well, we're coming close. We're coming close, close. Can you explain again? I'll explain it again in the New York session live streams. Because, um, look, is it possible to take a look at AUD USD? One, one, one shot in it. Let's take a look. Yeah, you should be looking uh, for a. Uh, you want this four hour candle to close outside in one hour? So you're going bald at 50,000? Yeah, I'm going bald at 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> I said it now, so I'm fucked if, I, if we have that. <laughs> I would be uh, be looking for buys. Bald? If, if we have 50,000 subscribers, I'll go Ooh, bald. I'm about to buy some subscribers for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs>
<laughs> That'll be funny, man. I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that in my life before. You be yeah. coming here every day with an egg head. Like, I'll be like, like your bucket. Not, not, not shave, shave bald, like, like millimeter, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Don't, okay. No shaving. Shaving okay. is too far. Then, uh, <laughs> then I'll never get my fucking hair back. Yeah, then I'll be bald forever, man. That'd be messed up, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be messed up, bro. I can't. I can't even imagine. I'll probably have a big ass forehead, like a fucking landing zone for planes. If I do that, it's okay. I'm, I don't have a lot of hair either. Yeah, I think I would be looking for buys. Wait for support to form, and maybe wait for the four hours to close, and then try and buy back up towards seven five seven. I mean, structure is bullish. We broke out of the four hours zone. Just wait for this candle to close above, and then uh, eventually you can read past this target right here. Maybe look out for some levels here in the left because there are a lot of levels, but eventually I think you should be able to continue mo moving up towards 919. Uh, you should trade topless for the whole <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we ain't gonna do that. Go well, on, I'll do it for you. <laughs> you would do it easily for me. Okay, 40k. Just, just for the sake of it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> then I'm absolutely... Stochastic. Okay, I don't know what that is. Thank you, Luke. Appreciate the value you're giving to the community. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, I'm dancing for 2K. But I don't know what dance to do yet. What is your biggest loss in Forex? My biggest loss ever, I think, was around 60, 70 bucks. Around that. That's it? Yeah. You're, you're a good boy. Yeah, man. My biggest win was 190 or something. That was in the dumbass days, though. And the loss my, was in the dumbass days as well. My biggest loss was so funny. Was like signals. The guy like said, oh, this is a very good trade. So I put the trade, went to the loss. He was like, guys, move stop loss um, underneath. I really believe in this trade. I moved the stop. I took the stop loss out, went to bed. Woke up next morning. Oh, oh I used to do that too. I used to trade <laughs> gold without a stop loss. <laughs> Bruv. <laughs> I used to trade gold without a stop loss and I just didn't give a shit. Like, I just wait until the position. It was like, yeah, it was like 700 uh, euro account and I think I lost like 300 and like, wait <laughs> in the span of the night. Like, woke up the next morning. I was like, what the hell just happened? Yeah, look at the price going down. People, no, no, you're gonna say it anymore. Let's see if we can uh, can unban the people that were talking smack, and let's see what they're gonna be saying right now. Man, like Lucas, try and talk again, yeah. Mister Braveheart, let's unmute you as well. Let's see, uh, let's see what they have to say. The OCP. See. Any of you guys there? Don't think so. I think, uh, full margin, uh, got them stopped out. Mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna get going. Take care, everybody. Yeah, see you, man. I'm gonna end this one as well. Uh, and I'm gonna continue in the New York session live stream, so make sure you are there. Um... We're probably going to hit the 10k, so if you want to see me dancing and uh, Ricardo playing some music, tune in. We're going to be looking for some uh, gold buys, probably. Uh, so, uh, because it's 4 hour, I want this 4, four hour to pull back to 95, and then I want to see 1 hour creates bullish uh, bullish structure. And then we're going to be looking for buys back up toward the, towards the top, or maybe uh, towards 1909. That's going to be the plan for New York, I think. Um, we just this is this is what we were anticipating this is the pullback right if you look at the four hour time frame we needed that pullback and we need this candle to close bearish we need this candle to close bearish so but there could also be a possibility for sales if we start respecting this level we could maybe sell back down towards like 88 or uh, maybe even towards an 84 you know but hopefully bullish momentum kicks back in and we might be going up towards that 1908 level again but thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe because the day is going to be the day of 10k. And uh, yeah, I appreciate that if you subscribed already.
So I see you guys in New York. It's around like two hours, two hours and 15 minutes. You know the time, normal time when, when New York starts. Uh, so yeah, guys, see you then. Bye-bye.